Kalia's world. Kalia's world. I know it's been a while, but I am back here with new ideas and new tutorials and videos. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a no makeup makeup look for all of my college girls out there that just want something nice, quick, and still pretty to head to class in so that they don't have to beat their face every single day and things like that. So I went ahead and did this. This is actually a look that I used to always do when I was inside of college. And so I decided to go ahead and record this video for you guys so that you could kind of figure out something to use and things to do for when you're just on the go. Like you got meetings to go to, you got class to go to. And so this is that for me okay and so go ahead and watch this video and see what i use and i hope you guys enjoy it but first and foremost make sure that you like comment and subscribe below all right y'all so i washed my face and all that good stuff now i'm just gonna go ahead and prep my skin since we're just gonna be doing something very light i'm still gonna use my mario badescu facial spray um i want to try the rose water one but right now i'm still using the cucumber and cute green tea one and this just helps to like freshen up my face. And then after that, throw a little primer on. Perfect, primer's on. And then I always do my face first. And so since this is obviously just like something that's like quick, like you're just running to class. Like ain't nobody got time for to have like a full beat on. You know, I only got like a couple classes today. Plus I'm tired, it's early, but I still wanna look a little refreshed. This is what that look is. So I am going to use my NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. So this moisturizer is actually great for if you are going to be on vacation and like you just want to wear something like nice and like very like refreshing on your face, but also still cover up a little bit of the blemishes like when you go to the beach or something. The Tinted Moisturizer is also good when you're out in the sun, like it's going to be gone just because it has SPF inside of it. Sunscreen, obviously you know what that is. And so the color that I use in this is Polynesia. It's the dark one. Um, and so the thing about this is that it actually doesn't come in a lot of colors. So beware of that for all of my like darker skin women. Like I'm a dark skin woman, but like if you have a deeper pigment than I do, then beware that there's not that many options because this was even hard to match up with my face and my skin tone. And it actually still is a little more red than I would personally prefer. Um, I know the NARS has been like extending out their uh, colors and stuff like that. So hopefully they will continue to do that to get us better colors in their tinted moisturizer. And even if you are fairer skin than me, then also beware like the undertones and stuff like that may be off. So I just take a beauty blender and I'm just going to use this to apply the sunscreen. And basically the way that I apply this is the same way that I would apply foundation. And so I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. And I apply as much as I think I personally need. I'm very into like making sure that my skin tone is even. I have a like a lot of hyperpigmentation. Um, which is like something that I deal with. If it's not something that you deal with, you may not care about the fact that it's not like a full coverage, but I I apply a good amount, but it still is just like something that's quick and easy. So I feel nice and moisturized, but obviously still have some coverage. And then something nice and quick, always, I always put on concealer. When I do this, what I actually do is I'm more of like dotted underneath my eyes. Still kind of bring it down a little bit here. It's like that triangle formation, but not like too crazy because this is supposed to look like you ain't got a makeup on. And also, since I'm not like contouring anything, I'm just going to take some of that concealer and use it underneath like where I would typically put a contour just to kind of like highlight that area and still kind of give me the look kind of as a contour. I'll let that sit for a moment. You know the deal. And while you're letting this sit, what you can be doing is getting your backpack together, making sure that like all of your um like pencils and stuff like that is inside of your backpack, or if you carry a purse, it's perfectly fine. Making sure that like all of your homework's completed, just making sure that everything is together for you to head to class right afterwards and be ready for your day. But then all I'm gonna do is take my damp beauty blender and go ahead and blend this out. And you just blend this out the same way that you would. A, if you like have a foundation, like don't think it's because it's a tinted moisturizer that's any different. What I have actually found is that it blends a little bit easier because if it's, it's a tinted moisturizer. I am just going to use my Sasha Buttercup and set my concealer. And I'm not going to be doing like too much of a baking process because everyday makeup look. So you don't want to be sitting here baking forever. Since we are not going to be baking, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to wipe off the powder right after I basically just applied it just like, to make sure that it's not too dry. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows, which typically I would do while I was baking, but obviously we're not baking today. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera, like don't stress about it. Um, but you guys know how to do your eyebrows. Nothing should be changing about the way that you do your eyebrows. It's still the same process. All right, so my eyebrows are done. Now we're going to go on with the eyes. And so as a, this is just going to be like a nice go-to quick little eye look. Nothing crazy. Like I don't even add color when I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look basically, which is what this is. So I'm not going to be using anything crazy. So I'm just going to go in again with my Amon concealer. Amon, Amande, whatever it's called. To prime my eyes with. Just going to go ahead and blend that out. So that's blended out. Now, I take my face powder, like what I actually set my face with, my full face, and I use that as a eyeshadow per se. What I'm going to be using today is my MAC Dark Deepest Minimalized Skin Finish, which is what I was going to be using to set my face, and I'm also using that just around my eyes. So I just take a regular brush, and I'm just going around my whole entire eyelid, increasing everything with this mineralized skin finish. So now that that's on, what I also do, just to add a little bit of dimension to the eye, is that I take my bronzer, which I have been using the Black Radiance, um, like their darkest color, and their face powder. I'm just gonna take that and take one of my angled fluffy brushes and go in my crease with it, just to add a little bit of dimension. It's not gonna add a ton, so don't be out here looking for something crazy. But it's just going to add a little bit of dimension just because it is darker than my face powder. Perfect. That's done. And now what I also do always when I basically aren't wearing any color on my eyes, I always go with a little bit of liner. Just because I feel as though it just adds again some more dimension to the eyes. I'm going to use my Kat Von D ink liner. And it's like the dark, the black color. It's black. Like jet black. And I'm not winging it or anything. I'm just going right along my eyelid. And then, I'm not obviously not putting on um, lashes because this isn't that type of look, okay? So, but what I do like to do if I'm not wearing lashes is that I actually use my Voluminous Lash Primer, which helps like actually make my eyelashes look longer and thicker, which they are not. Then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Alright, so eyes are done, so now I'm just going to finish up my face. So what I'm going to do is go ahead with that set with my face powder, and I'm just using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest, just to set my whole face. Even though it's into moisturizer, you can set your whole face. It just helps to like, so that it doesn't move as much. I'm going to bronze my face again with that same powder that I use in my crease of my eyes, I, which is the Black Radiance um, Face Powder in the darkest color. Um, it has a little bit of a red hint to it, so I'm just going to go ahead and bronze the face. You can use whatever you want to bronze your face. I am still going to throw on a little bit of blush. My Milani uh, Baked Powder Blush in Rose de Auto. I love this blush, but it also just kind of gives you like a glowy type of look. And I am going to take my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. Um, this is the Girl Next Door in a Chic Freak one, and I think I'm going to use Chic Freak. I'm just going to take my highlighting brush. Rub it in there, and then just pat this nicely up. I always highlight. I don't care if this is a no makeup, makeup look, or whatever. I am still going to highlight my face. And I'm done. Quick, easy, like not hard at all, um, and still pretty. And obviously, you can skip some of the steps. That's perfectly fine. Uh, but this is just like what I like to do. And if you wanted to, you can actually take some of this um, highlighter and actually put it in your inner tear duct. That would also be really pretty. I am going to do that it's because I like it. Um, but for those of you that don't care to do that, you still want to just be like very like just clean and pretty, then you don't have to do that at all. You can also skip the highlighter if you wanted to. And so what I also love, love, love to do when I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look is that I love to add on a um, a brown lip. I love a good brown lip. So I'm going to use Henneways um, by Ellery. And what I'm also going to do is put on a lip gloss over top of this. I also love lip gloss and summer has been the summer of the gloss. So now I'm just going to set my face. Woo! And 
I'm all done. I'm gonna do my hair and then I'll be ready to go. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed this beautiful look. And yes, I did go ahead and add on some Fenty Beauty Universal Gloss Balm. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and be on the lookout for my next video. I'm definitely gonna be recording a lot more things like my college girls out there and just for like people in general, not all beauty, but I also have some other things coming. But I thank you guys for watching and tuning in. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Bye.